One of the best parts of living out in the mountains is having easy access to the backcountry. And we're getting into hunting season and definitely hiking season in a major way as people kind of get out there to check out the falling leaves. And I've got Dan Smith from Vale Mountain Rescue in here. And you guys had a bit of a busy week, it sounds yeah. like, after our little chat. Saturday was very special. We had what is known in the trade as a twofer. A twofer. We had two missions at the same time. <laughs> uh, we've actually had three furs before. They're, they're really rough. Yeah but we had a, uh, a hunter who had impaled himself on an arrow uh, oh, right man. through here. Right and through uh, mid, mid leg is what he was kind and of yeah, it, 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 yeah, that's an owie. And we're taking a peek and, at those uh, <laughs> And he had, uh, his brother was with him and they uh, used one of the emergency locator devices, uh, an inReach, called us and said, we have a hunter with an arrow in him. Well, we start everybody moving, got uh, ground teams moving and got Flight for Life to put in three people close to him because they were available and then started working on an extraction helicopter through hats. While we're doing all that, a uh, woman on Pitkin Creek about two miles up falls, breaks her shoulder and cracks her head. Just a concussion, we think. So now we have two missions going at once. Uh, we get uh, work with the Air Force Recovery Center and with uh, the National Guard in Denver, uh, as well as hats and get a helicopter, get a Blackhawk, get a crew. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing that we do is fly the uh, Black Hawk with two of our hoist technicians in the back up to Pitkin. They can land there. They found a, a clearing and fire got the subject in the clearing, fly down to the ball, Ford Park ball field, unload into an ambulance, go back up. Okay. And about 10 miles the other way is uh, where our hunter is. No, no uh, landing zone there. So they lower the two hoist technicians down on the cable, yeah. uh, package up the patient. And there's some slides here you'll see uh, in a second that uh, of the uh, arrow in our subject. But when you do it, you have to put a tourniquet up above the arrow because you don't know what's gonna happen when you start moving that arrow a bit. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so that uh, got very interesting, got him down to the ball field and we're all done by 4.30. All right, so I mean, that just goes to show how well trained you well, guys Well, 19 are. guys, <laughs> okay. one Black Hawk, uh, one f uh, engine crew, a couple of firefighters in running command on that mission because that was theirs over in Pitkin and we just supplied some manpower in the helicopter. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people trying to get to the hunter in a lot of ways because we didn't know we were going to get a helicopter. You can never tell. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, you don't, ever, don't know if the helicopter's going to make it. Helicopters have a habit of having mechanical issues. Yeah. So yeah. you have to have ground teams going at the same time. And this would have been, oh, about six miles on an ATV and then two miles to get from the ATV to the subject because they were in the deep woods. Mm -hmm. So that was, it was a very interesting Saturday. So if the helicopter wasn't available, what was the option to get? Because uh, he couldn't walk. Obviously. Litter in a wheel. Yeah. Uh, Stokes litter with a big air, aircraft tire underneath it, and you just roll it down. But there's no trail to where he was. So oh, it was going to so be a total bushwhack. Out in the woods. Yeah. Oh, for about a mile of that, mile, mile and a half, it would have been a total bushwhack. And then on a trail for another mile or so to where the ATVs were parked. And then we'd put him, we have a UTV side by side rigged up to hold a Stokes litter in the back and yeah. then we got him out that way. But all that bouncing with that arrow in there, ee, that's yeah, not a good that's idea. No good. So when he, we got another segment with you and we're gonna talk about some recent training that yeah. you just did, but just very quickly before we go, anything the arrow hunter could have done to prevent this if we have any hunters? Not watching? fall. Yeah, not fall. So just <laughs> make sure, your, make sure your arrows are in the rack and that the points are secured. So the, his points were likely up. Well, he, when he fell, somehow he maybe had the rack in his hand an arrow came out. Okay. Uh, they, you can clip them with, with uh, multi-tools, which yeah. is what they did to get it off, but yeah. it's, uh, you don't want to do this again. No, you don't. All right, well, we'll be right back with you with, and talk about that training stuff. But first up, we've got Ashley with a weather report.